Uh, I think we're playing in a very uh, great league, um, great competition, um, great players in this league that you know been in the NBA and been at higher levels of basketball. And um, it was just fun getting out there and uh, being able to get two Ws and uh, being able to play with uh, great teammates. Um, again, Coach Herb, he, he's been very influential in, you know, our success and, you know, my success coming in, especially in the middle of the season. Um, he's been very supportive of me just coming in and, and letting me play and uh, letting me make mistakes, uh, especially coming in, in the middle. I don't know all the plays yet and I'm um, still trying to figure out the team identity and where I can fit in. So right now I'm just coming in trying to help any way possible. And he's been very supportive of me uh, just, you know, letting me play and letting me play through my mistakes. I mean, it's pretty tough because you don't know what to expect. You don't know how the guys are going to accept you. But fortunately here, I've came into a great situation where guys are very accept accepting of me. Uh, they've been helping me uh, with the plays, uh, helping me just, you know, around. I don't know my way around Frankfurt yet. Uh, just, you know, very supportive. Uh, they're very welcoming, and um, I feel like I'm home. I'm, I'm, I'm home. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Um, you know, sunny SoCal. Uh, Grew up and you know with my mother and my father. Uh, I played basketball since I was five years old. Um, you know, all through high school, went to University of Minnesota, then transferred to California. Uh, finished my career at California, and then uh, played with the Charlotte Hornets. Um, you know, summer league and um, preseason, and then went to Latvia, and uh, now I'm here in Frankfurt. Uh, I would say the biggest moment I had in basketball was uh, my senior year. We played the number one team in the country. Uh, Arizona, um, we were a tie game, tie game. Uh, you know, I was able to hit the game winner for us to uh, uh, win, you know, beat the, they were undefeated at the time, so beat the number one team in the country at home. So it was the first time that's that's been done at House Pavilion. Uh, just a laid back guy, um, you know, I don't really go out too much. I'm a video game guy. Uh, sit home, play 2K, play Madden, and uh, play FIFA, just, you know, just real life. So um, I'm starting to get into TV shows now and that I'm overseas, I have a lot of time. So watching Prison Break and Breaking Bad and, you know, just different shows just to, just to you know, keep me doing something. And I'm starting to read too. I'm uh, reading a few books. Uh, Jay Billis has a book that's out, so I'm, I'm doing things like that and uh, talking to my family on FaceTime. So I'm just, you know, real laid back guy. Uh, my dad always just taught me to be just be a leader. Um, go out there and uh, you, as a point guard, you always want to lead your team because at the end of the day, they're going to look at you when you have the ball in your hands to make the decision. So, I've always been a leader, a guy that's you know doesn't back down from a challenge. And um, I'm a winner. I always want to want to make sure the team at the end of the day, no matter how I'm playing, make sure the team is uh, the team is going to get the W at the end. So, very defensive minded. Uh, can score a little bit and um, just at the end of the day, hope we get that W.